Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create this style of cover art. If you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe because we're really close on 1000 subscribers. It's going to really help me out and if you like this video please consider leaving a like and if you have any questions on how to do this tutorial leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. And yeah without further ado let's get into it. So of course the first thing is opening a new canvas. Go to file and press on new. Make sure the width and height are the exact same number and press OK. Once open, you want to import the image you want to use for the cover. I've chosen this one of Drake and now what I'm going to do is crop Drake out of the picture using the pen tool. It's right here. And yeah, once that's finished, I'll be right back with you. Now that I've cropped out the image, what I want to do is I'm going to delete the layers that are not useful like the shape one and the original picture. So now I'm just left with this image. Now what you want to do is go up here on the left corner and press on image. Here go down to adjustments and click on saturation. It's going to open this window and turn the saturation all the way down. Press OK. And now on your keyboard, press on Control and click on J. And as you can see, it made a copy of that image. Now on the image that's on top, you want to press on Filter and go down to Blur and click on Motion Blur. Make sure the angle is a bit tilted like this. And you want to add quite a lot of distance. Maybe something like this could do the trick. Press OK. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. Press on the picture that doesn't have the blur effect on it. And again, press Ctrl J on your keyboard and it's going to make a copy of it. Go on filter, go to blur and again, go on motion blur. But this time we're going to add less distance something like this and press ok once you're done press shift on your keyboard and select the two images that have the blur effect as you can see both of them are selected now press right click on your mouse and it's going to open this window and click on merge layers and as you can see it made it into one single layer now place the original picture on top of the picture that has the blur effect on it and select the eraser tool. The brush you want to use is this one. Now what you want to do is to erase the edges of the picture like I'm doing here. And now what you can also do is make some lines above erasing them like this, go across, make the brush a little a bit smaller and do the same thing on the face. Press shift on your keyboard and select both layers and merge them together pressing right click and going down here to merge layers. Now I'm going to adjust the size of the image. I'm going to make it occupy quite a lot of the canvas like this. Now here on the bottom right you want to press this icon and click on gradient map. Press on these colors. And it's going to open this window. Now, the thing with the gradient map is that you want to add the darker color on the left side and the lighter one on the right side if you want to give it a realistic look. As you can see, his face is a lot clearer. And now I'm going to change the color to a dark blue, for example. Something like this is perfect. And once I'm done, I press OK and press OK here as well. Okay, once you've done your gradient map, you want to right click on that layer and click on create clipping mask. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a dust effect over Drake. I'm going to leave in the description this dust effect so you can use it in your cover. Place it over the person you're doing the cover of and place it under the gradient map. 
as you can see there's this little arrow pointing down and that means it's creating a clipping mask as well so go on here on the blending options and click on the soft light turn the opacity down a bit to about 80 and now the next step is I want to change the color of the background a bit so I'm going to go down here on the bottom layer and I'm going to press this icon and click on solid color I'm going to go for a light blue here something like this and now the next thing I want to do is I want to go on the top layer and I want to add some curves so click on here and go to the curves option here I want to go to the bottom of the line and make it a bit brighter and add some contrast maybe like this and that looks quite good now the next thing I want to do is go back on this icon but this time I want to click on color lookup here you want to press on load 3d LUT and go down to Fuji Riala 500D Kodak it's gonna add this filter over it and now I can add some text for example so press T on your keyboard and well, I'm gonna just write the name of the artist which is Drake and I'm gonna change the font of this so click on here and you, as you can see it says filter so you want to click on that and go down to script as you can see this is like a handwritten type of font so I think these are already installed in Photoshop if not just search the name of the font on Google and it will appear I'm gonna go for example for full set of signature of course it doesn't have to be the same one but I think script fonts looks very good on this type of cover art I'm gonna place it here on the bottom right corner for example press OK and now I want to add a plastic overlay to this cover so again I'm going to leave it in the description down below and just place it above and place it over the cover art and now what you want to do is select the overlay and click on soft light so as you can see the background isn't blue anymore now these two layers, the color lookup and the curves layers, I want to create a clipping mask over the Drake picture. So, so I select them and I'm going to go underneath. As you can see it created a clipping mask effect. I'm going to add, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add noise to the background. So click on the background, the color, right click and press on rasterize layer. Now go on filter go on noise and press add noise set the amount to about 15 16 and press ok and now once everything is done go to the top layer and go to this icon and press on curves here you want to add some contrast to the image make it a bit lighter like this and once you're done you can add a parental advisory sticker which I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna place it up, up here on the top left corner and now for the finishing touches I'm gonna add this overlay this grunge style overlay I'm gonna leave it in the description as well it's this one right here so once you've imported it press on soft light and turn the opacity down to about 27, 30, something like this. And this is about it. There's nothing much to it. You can do any adjustments that you think could look quite good on the cover. If you have any questions on this tutorial, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to respond. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's dowel.gfx. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next time.